question to me is, you know, we have printers, you know, we have laser jet, we have things you can spit out a hundred of these things in like uh, ten minutes, and you don't have to worry about you know your arm getting cut off or anything. So, why old-fashioned letterpress? Well, I think asking a printer why he's chosen which method to use would be like asking a painter why he chose oil over watercolor. One of the things we do as craftsmen is try and use the process that best suits, best suits the product that we're trying to produce. But having said that, I think as, part, as an artist, we try and always use the techniques that bring us the most fulfillment and most gratification. And letterpress doesn't look like anything else. It's just, it's amazing. And when you do things that people get their hands on and they're like, wow, how did you do that? And then they come in and see that you did it on a machine built in 1932. It just blows their mind. And, and every day we, we blow people's minds. what we do here is the customer satisfaction at the end. Um, we, we like being part of their special day or um, we love people's reaction to, to what we do. It keeps us wanting to do it. it. You know, people get so excited and they're so happy and that's Well, I think that it's it's kind of like art in that you're even though you're you, we talk about customers, we're also talking about people kind of commissioning us to do work. Um, I think what we do here and what we've tried to do is to allow ourselves to explore some of our creative freedoms, and I think that's a big help when you look at it from an artistic standpoint. The technical part of it is still kind of nice because the stuff that we do is got all kinds of terminology. And in, to be true to the form, we talk about all of those different kinds of things using the proper terminology. The 3D fact that you get with the letterpress, it's not just ink on the paper. It's not like a Xerox or anything like that, but it's actually, when you get it and you have the 3D and you can look at it and you can feel it, it's, it's the texture too and everything that's, that goes along with it. Um, when it comes to letterpress, I get giddy and excited. I love that I know there's going to be a printed piece at the end that my client can touch and feel. Uh, graphic designers are challenged with um, a lot now digitally, and it's not something that we can pick inks for and pick paper and touch and feel things. So when I get to sit with a client and show them paper books and a PMS colors, it's, that's awesome because I know that something great's going to come off that press. <laughs> the invitations were my favorite part. I mean, look at them. Yeah. They're gorgeous. I can't wait to show more. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is great. You totally surprised me. Well, that's what we like to do.
If someone's on the fence about digital versus creative letterpress, there is just no comparison. If you care about the product and you care about the quality of it and the uniqueness of it and having something that's artistic and that will stand the test of time style-wise, you cannot go wrong with letterpress. You just